Well, afternoon, everybody. Today's Tuesday, so continuing on with the um, basically the discussion of the life of Christ in this week. And so yesterday we talked about um, Christ going into the temple, and and the references that I gave you at the end of the video yesterday. Um, some of those are actually for today as well. When you go and you look at the scriptures and go through the four gospels, it gets difficult to tell in some instances whether he was it was Monday or whether it was Tuesday because Christ basically that's what he did today as well was he taught in the temple and uh, so so it doesn't really matter whether it was Monday or Tuesday um, you know just the idea is that Christ is in these days um, going and teaching and being with the people in the temple and around it and uh, so you know don't don't get hung up in that and one of the things that was interesting that I saw when I was reviewing it uh, as we get into the main point for today is there is an account in two of the Gospels associated with Mary Magdalene um, anointing Jesus's head and feet with the alabaster flask and and we've seen uh, this story before and, and uh, one of the Gospels John specifically says that this happened six days before the Passover and then the other two put it in the end of Tuesday now, why, why is that? Well, when you look at the words that actually start those times or those passages off, they don't give you a specific day. They start talking about something and then they allude to it. And that something was, Christ said, the high priest is going to take and deliver me up and, and I'm going to be killed, basically. And, and so then both of the gospel authors allude to um, this scene with Mary Magdalene and at the end of that scene Mary Magdalene uh, with Mary Magdalene Judas goes off and makes a deal with the priest and so the story is included where it is because it bridges the two things together see Christ knows what is going to happen and the authors of the Gospels those two Gospels are using that scene to show you how Judas went from being one of the apostles into being the pawn of Satan to be utilized in his betrayal. You know, so what, what do I want you to take out of today, Tuesday? Number one, um, this, Tuesday's account starts off with Peter noticing the fig tree. Remember we talked about it being shriveled away yesterday. And Christ talks about faith. And so we need to remember how important our faith is. Number two, I want you to realize the beauty of that scene with Mary Magdalene anointing Christ. You know, this is a time for us to really just come before Christ, to sit at his feet, um, to just shower ourselves with him. And so we don't want to lose track of that. And amongst all the other things that are going on, we want to keep that picture forced, first and foremost, uh, foremost within front of us. The third thing is, to be aware of the fact that Satan and evil are always plotting around the outside. This is a fact, right? And it's something that we need to make sure that we're aware of. We don't want to become a snare to the devil. But at the same time, we should not be fearful of it or worry about it. Because Christ, just as he knew what was going on, he knows what's going on with us now. And so as these things are building, uh, God has already made a way for us to be able to escape those, to be able to deal with those uh, where he has already defeated those and so we don't fear them we don't fear them we need to be mindful of them right but just as evil thought they won when they crucified our our savior and in fact he used their evil intent for the good of all mankind and god will do that so as we as we leave tuesday leave it with that thought right pray for god's protection Pray for God's um, understanding so that you can uh, avoid these snares. But at the same time, hold fast in your faith that God will do what he says he'll do. And hold fast in your faith that God has already conquered these. So that is the, that is the word for the day. That is, is um, the, the thought into Christ for the day. And I really hope you got something out of this. So I love you, church. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.